Greetings and thank you once again for this opportunity to spend a few moments with you. We trust that you are being encouraged each and every day. I just want to remind you of a verse of scripture in Isaiah chapter 30 where the Bible tells us in quietness and confidence will be your strength. You know, when you and I intentionally set some quiet time aside just to quieten ourselves before God, that really becomes a place of strength for us because in quietness and in confidence will be our strength. This week we've been talking about imitating God based on Ephesians chapter 5 verse 1 where the Apostle Paul said, be imitators of God as dear children. Just looking at different dimensions of imitating God. And today I want to just bring our attention to the fact that one aspect of imitating God is learning to speak as God speaks. You know, just as a little child would begin to have some of the spoken expressions that are actually a copy of the parent. Now the parent uses certain words, certain language, uh, certain ways of expression. You will see that picked up by the child. You know, and the children begin to express the same thing. They are learning to speak as the parents speak. And so we as children of God must learn to imitate God in speaking the way God speaks. Now, what does that mean practically? How would God speak in a given situation? For one thing, we can be sure that God would never speak hopelessness. He would never speak defeat. And he's never going to say, oh my God, what do I do? He's obviously never going to say that. He knows what to do. He, he is not perplexed. He is not, you know, despondent. He's not hopeless. But God, and I will just reference one verse in Romans 4, 17, where the Apostle Paul teaches us that God gives life to the dead and calls things that are not as though they are. Or he calls things which do not exist as though they do or as, they, as though they did. That means when there's nothing there, God calls things into existence. He calls them into being. That's God. That's how he speaks. And therefore, you and I must learn to speak the way God speaks. And one of the best ways to do it to always speak in alignment to the Word of God. If you and I make it a practice to say what the Bible says, to say what God says in any given situation, you and I are learning to speak as God speaks. And you'll find in the Bible, the Bible is full of faith, full of hope, full of confidence, full of courage. There's no sense of weakness or defeat in the Word of God for the believer. But there's confidence and strength and hope and courage those are the words that you and I will be speaking as imitators of God. So let's train ourselves to speak the word of God. Speak as God speaks in any given situation. Let's pray. Father, we ask that you help us imitate you. Even in our speaking. That we will speak aligned to the Bible, aligned to the scriptures. That we will speak words that express our faith in you, who you are, what you can do, and what you have already done for us. That we will speak words that are courageous, confident, full of hope, full of blessing and life. That we will speak such words as we imitate you. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.